What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and I'd like to welcome you to my monthly update and thank you video. In this monthly video I just want to take the time to thank everyone who has supported me and all of you who have helped me and my channel get to where it has. To be completely honest without all of you my channel wouldn't even still be here. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the words of encouragement, the comments, the likes and everything that has helped me keep going. Because of that and because of you I've always strived to make myself better, to come out with better videos to be more helpful, and to be honest with you, I want to make you all proud. I really don't know how else to put it, so I hope that makes sense. So I do thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I also want to say thank you for the overwhelming support last month. I was kind of struggling as many of you noticed in that video, and all the comments really blew me away. So thank you once again. I really can't thank you enough. But just to explain really quick what you're watching in the background is some bonus footage from subscriber squads. These are some battles that I would have shown but I couldn't fit them in the episode. So I figured I'd use them for this video and I'm going to answer some questions. I searched through my comments and I did find a few to answer. But if you have anything specific you want to know about me, go ahead and ask it in the comments section below and I'll cover it in next month's video. Alright so our first question is going to be from Zach Wan Zach. What is the most annoying team in PvP? This honestly changes with whatever team is overpowered or overused at the time. But right now I would say any team with Gamora. Her demoralizing shout drives me crazy. And yes I do know there are counters and I'm actually going to address some of them in the first episode of Breaking the Meta. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. The next question comes from Juan Cecilio Miranda Pedrosa. And he asks do you think that the devs will ever make all the current expired research items i.e. the uniforms and spec ops gear items permanently available for new players. Personally I think this would be a great idea but I don't see it happening just like that. I can definitely see them releasing them through lockboxes and probably as gold items but I don't see them just unlocking them forever. But like I said I wouldn't be opposed to that at all and I think it would be great for new players. Next Vlad Papa or Popa wants to know is the Neuro Purge worth buying? I definitely think it is. I find myself using it quite often because it does place off balance on all the enemies and so it really helps against counter attack teams and most importantly Iron Fist with his combo breaker. So I would say if you have the extra gold you should go ahead and pick it up. Next Pooh124689 wants to know where do you get the power of 4? You get it from the premium mission in chapter 5 mission 6 and that's in the first season. Alright so some background on this next question. It was on my top 5 best leveling spots video and John Dew wanted to know where did Gorgon get his other 12 levels. So basically he was asking where do I take a level 1 hero for example. Well the reason why I didn't address this in the video is because I take them to the same exact leveling spots. That's right even at level 1 I'll take a hero into the sim. I'll take them in the chapter 12 you name it. So my spots for leveling don't change, it doesn't matter what level the hero is. I find that my agent and another max level hero can take on the mission by themselves. Also because I'm always protecting the low level hero usually doesn't get taken out. I mean don't get me wrong it's a possibility but I usually have rescue in the sim and then my agent's always using the blade of the guardian in normal missions. So yes that was a great question and I really wanted to address it. I'd also like to thank everyone else for their questions. And like I said if you have something to ask me go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And by the way William Howe you can get the Revolt 5 in Season 2 Chapter 2 Mission 6. And now that our agents finished the fight it's time to start getting into our thank yous. First I'd like to thank Jameson at AJ Designs for his professional graphics that just blow my mind. Next thank you Hayden at Insidious Productions for really helping out with graphics, intros and just all of your contributions. Thank you Matthew at Matt Sketches. I just really appreciate all the time and effort you put into making graphics and they really help my videos stand out. Then a special thank you to Sniper for my intro and you can find his channel in the description below. Next a huge thank you and shout out to the guys at the From the Hellcarrier podcast. I want you to know I appreciate everything and I'm happy to be part of the show. And finally for the contributors I want to thank my friend Agent Danny. So who's left? Well of course the agents of the hour. First off I want to thank Agent Seraph1, Ack I'm Dead, D. Ross, Kurt, Josh, and Philip. Next thank you to Agent Jesse, Runner Beast, Joshua G, Nuke, Freedom, and Billy. Followed by Agent Sputang, Larry, 
Dan, Cuts, Michael, and Paul. Next, thank you to Agente de Leo, Michael F., Cold, Solomon, Monty, and Snorri. And then we have Agent Michael R., Sean, Maxwell, Sperton, FTH, Lorenzo, and Glenn. And last, but certainly not least, thank you to Agent Nadem, AJ Wilkinson, Dorsey, Matt, and Sharif. Thank you all once again. You're amazing, and I really appreciate the support. You really have made a big difference for myself and the channel. Finally, if you would like to become a patron, it's 100% optional, but you can visit www.patreon.com slash thekingfisher745. That's going to be it for our monthly thank you video, but I do want to thank everyone once again for watching, subscribing, and just for leaving all the kind words in the comments. You really have impacted not only my channel, but my life, and I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. So I thank you, and until next time, good luck, and take care.